My mother and my father uh, were definitely surprised about the condition and they took it in stride. My mother um, is a nurse, so she had the ability to kind of understand that probably more so than myself. So they, they uh, took it probably even better than I did and just knew that we were gonna have to work with the cardiologist and the medical community to understand what it was that I was gonna need to do to optimize you know, my lifestyle based on the condition that I had. Many of you watching this program have been living with a heart condition for some time. Some of you may be recently diagnosed. Either way, it may come as a surprise to learn that you are at risk for sudden cardiac arrest and that you may need an implantable defibrillator to protect you. It's the same way for many people. Ian was an energetic student when he found out he had a serious heart condition. I started playing football when I was eight, and so it was something hard for me to grasp. I uh, didn't necessarily listen to some of the advice that was given to me in the beginning because at that age, I still had my whole life in front of me, and uh, I understood I had this condition, but was anything really gonna happen to me was the attitude I took. John was an active family man holding down two jobs when he was told he had a heart condition that put him at high risk for sudden cardiac arrest. My health was really excellent. I was able to uh, actually work two jobs for a long time. When my situation caught up with me with my heart problems, uh, I was working a lot of hours, working 12 hour days, seven days a week. So it came as quite a surprise when I found out that indeed I had congestive heart failure. Like John, you may be feeling good and wondering why your doctor has recommended an implantable defibrillator. You still may be at risk for sudden cardiac arrest, even if you had a heart attack years ago and have few, if any, symptoms. If we go back to why we're doing this, let's think about something. If we see most patients who are in public, for example, and they collapse, those patients are feeling perfectly well and suddenly their heart fails to deliver blood and they collapse and have a cardiac arrest. Many of those patients have heart disease, but they're well at the time this happens. So this is really the silent killer. It's the killer that doesn't give enough warning, and as a result, you're well until the moment where you drop dead and the device is needed or the ambulance is needed to restore you back to life. 